Hey guys, it's Velvet. What's up? It's been a while. Long time no see. Long time no chat. Um, I'm just popping on here for a few minutes. Just doing a short little video about something that God's put on my heart. And that is when God takes his peace. Listen. And if you're a believer, if you're a son or daughter of, of Jesus Christ, um of the risen king of God if Jesus is your brother you have the holy spirit and the holy spirit is our leader our counselor and our guide and he is that still small voice that speaks to us and shows us the way in which we should go and one of the many things i love about the holy spirit is that he will never lead me astray he will only show me the way that god wants me to go he will only lead me in the paths of righteousness he will only point me towards the truth and i needn't worry about um mistrusting the holy spirit we know that we can always trust the holy spirit because he has our good in mind he, the Holy Spirit is fully God and fully Jesus, and God wants the best for me. God wants the best for my life. I know that because he's good, he's perfect, he's my father, he's my designer, he's my creator. He knows exactly what I need and when I need it, and I trust him fully. I trust him fully. So when I'm living day to day and walking and there's an absence of God's peace, because I know that I shouldn't be doing something or I should be doing something, but I'm not doing it. I can take that sign that it's an indication that I need to act. I need to move. I need to change something. I need to consult God and ask him, all right, Lord, what is it? What is it? And a lot of the times I think you and I know what we need to do. I think you, we know exactly what we ought to be doing or ought not to be doing, but we don't want to believe it because we think that it's something that we need. Um, I think that we we all have our own will and we want to live our way and we want our will to line up with God's will and sometimes we plead with God and we beg and we ask him, oh Lord, let this be in your will. Oh, let this be something of you. Oh Lord, grant me this desire. Um, you know, let me achieve this goal or, you know, get to the end of this path or whatever it may be. But... God doesn't always grant us the desire that we have. You know, he doesn't always grant us the desire of our heart. And when he doesn't, when he withholds something from us, is because it's not yet time or it's not his best. And because we know that we can trust God, we have to trust when he takes his peace away. And so, yeah, I just want to encourage you guys to listen. If you have something in your heart that you are just not at peace about, it's stressing you out, it's bringing you anxiety, it's a conversation that you know you need to have with somebody, or it's an action that you know you need to take, I'm urging you, I'm urging you to take it, and you're not going to lose anything. In fact, you're going to gain something so invaluable, something that only God can give, and that is his peace, and his joy, and his presence, the fullness of him. But when we're living outside of God's will, when we're living outside of God's peace, life is so hard. <laughs> like, I don't know about you, but... What is that? Oh, sorry. Sorry, sorry. <laughs> um... I don't know about you, but yeah, when I don't have God's peace, I'm just stressed out. And like, I'm already a constant overthinker. And so this thing that's been going on recently has just, like, I have no choice but to be like, all right, God, I trust you. And that's sad. Like, I want to trust God immediately, but I don't always do that. Um, but yeah. Anyway, I just want to say, listen, when God takes his peace away, just acknowledge that it is from the Lord, probably, or, you know, just ask God, is this from you? Is this you taking away your peace? Is it something I need to do? And odds are he's leading you to do something or he's leading you to not do something. But above all, he's always leading you to trust him and believe him and to believe that what he has for you is the best because it is. Oh, what's up, Diana? Hey. So... 
yeah, that's, that's pretty much all I have for you. But just know that God's peace is such a gift. And when we have it, we know that we're living in his will. Our lives are going in the direction that they're supposed to be going in. Even if they're not in the place that we wish they were in already, or in the place that we hope they're someday going to be in, just know that God's timing is absolutely perfect. It's perfect. So don't rush it. Don't force something that's not meant to happen. Don't force a relationship that you're not supposed to be in. Trust God. If somebody is not right for you and you know it in your heart, but you're still trying to make it happen, trying to force it to happen, don't waste your time. Trust me. Trust God. Trust God when he removes his peace about a situation. If it, it might not be a relationship with a person. It might be a relationship with a thing. It might be a relationship with a job or a coworker. Just know that God knows what he's doing and listen to God's peace. So that's all I have for you. Very short. God bless you all. Have a great Saturday night. And yeah, love you all.